Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo. Welcome back today to a Minecraft Pocket Edition Toolbox Mod Update video. Toolbox is now fully supporting 0.16.0. If you guys are just here for the download, the download is in the description. However, Toolbox has made some changes to the app. I want to be showing you these changes. So if you do want to hang around, then be sure to thumbs it up because I appreciate all the support. Also, it helps other people find my channel and find this specific video. So Toolbox has been around for a very long time. As the updates start to be released, the app gets bigger and better. Now, let's go through this, starting on with launcher options. We don't really need this section to be honest with you. We do have general, which you can mess around with a few settings. We have texture packs, which is no longer really needed at all because we can use Minecraft Pocket Edition now for texture packs, aka resource packs. We also have mod PEs. We don't really need this right now either, but this is just an alternative to block launcher, which I don't think I've used block launcher in an extremely long time. So nothing has changed in the overall settings menu that I could see. So everything that's changed is in game. So going to play, going to create, I'm gonna put this in creative for the sake of this tutorial. Cheats on and always day. Now like I did say, this has new commands and the new commands available are in fact like world edit. They're super, super easy to use. Um, you can put a resource pack on if you wanted to, but let's generate this world. The cool thing is now guys, that this app loads a lot faster than it used to. So 0.16.0 was very useful for this app. Top tip. At this current point, we do not have coordinates in Minecraft Pocket Edition. It was due to be in 0.16.0. It didn't quite make the build. So this app does have fully functional working coordinates, which are perfect for finding specific locations for um, loot. It could be spawners, temples, ocean monuments, and more. So as you can see, when I move, the map actually shows the location of where I'm going. Uh, something else that's really cool about this as well, the mini map shows you what mob is close. Now you can see though that each mob has a health bar. So it says that this uh, sheep has eight. Every time it beat it up, it's taking two away from it, which means it takes around about four hits to kill a sheep. And as you guys can see, the sheep is dead. So getting into something really awesome about this that I absolutely love, when we press the top left, which is the mod button, Something incredible, which I'm quite surprised hasn't been introduced to Minecraft Pocket Edition yet, is this app brings you a search menu. The search menu is so useful. Why Minecraft Pocket Edition doesn't have it, I do not know because the Windows 10 beta does. So on the top, if you're looking for something specific, for example, you're looking for diamonds or anything diamond related, as soon as you type in diamond, it brings a diamond, diamond ore, diamond block, sword, armor, and anything related to diamonds. So I absolutely love that feature. Incredible feature to be introduced. Now we're gonna start off with the left-hand side because the left-hand side has your ordinary setup in a creative menu, give or take some new additions, and some of them aren't located there. So for example, on this one, it actually shows you the grass length, which to me is kind of really weird. And also half a cake and a full cake, and also like a random bowl as well. We've also got here the ordinary things that you've probably seen a million times, as you guys can see there. But what I love about this is when you're on the main menu, it actually has so many items available. It has every single item available, very similar to Minecraft PC. And the cool thing about this is, I love the fact that you can just like carry fire in your hand. You can carry like um, like a half door, full, full nether warts growing. Um, we've also got some other blocks as well. So if I find the mushroom blocks real quick, the mushroom blocks, it has literally all angles of the mushroom block, which is, it's very random, I know, but it's, it's kind of useful, I guess. So we've got like half doors here. You can actually carry fire with you as well. I don't think the fire burns out as well. So that's actually an extra bonus. I think that's a pretty cool feature. So moving on to the other side where things get interesting. Top, we have our own inventory. Now you can actually do automatic enchanting on this app. So if we grab ourselves in our hand a diamond sword, let's find ourselves a diamond sword, for example, going into the top chest menu, clicking on enchant, click the item you want to enchant and you can literally give it anything you want. Like you can give every single enchantment to your sword and it will instantly do it. You can even go past the normal level as well. So I've saved this. You guys can see we have all of these. And if I kill you, it's gonna drop like instantly cock food and so much more. So I love the fact that you can auto enchant incredible feature within this app. The one below it is quite important. This is where you customize 
your world to how you want. Now guys, I do not encourage using any of these mods on online servers. Please respect the servers and also respect other people as well because all you're doing is ruining the servers and ruining the games. Um, but yeah, just, just please respect that. Okay, so you've got the ability to change your game mode dimension. You can change it to the, um, the nether as well. You've got fly, no clip, health, hunger, spawn position. I'll let you guys mess around with them because they've been in here for a very long time. Although I don't endorse x-ray glitches or x-ray hacks, the x-ray hack on this actual app is incredible. So if we scroll down a little bit, we do have ourselves the, um, the x-ray. If we go to edit, whatever items that aren't clicked, so the ones that are clicked is the ones that you're gonna find, the ones that aren't clicked are the ones that you're not gonna find. So for example, we've enabled the ability to find chests and to find diamond ore. If I click save, exit, on the bottom right, you did already see the x-ray ability. If I tap this, it's gonna show me where all the chests are. So if I wanna find dungeons and also where all the diamonds are. So specifically in this location, there really isn't that many diamonds per chunk. So it's good to try and find the best locations. To me, the best location to find diamonds is probably a uh, extreme hill biome because you find diamonds and also emeralds as well. So again, you guys can mess around with that. Also, we've got the ability to instantly spawn things so you can spawn entities. Uh, you can spawn, what else is there? You can spawn lightning bolts. So whatever you're carrying in your hand will become the lightning bolt. So And then once you're done, all you have to do is press exit that and it will change it. Pretty fun to mess around with that, I'm not gonna lie. I was going around uh, attacking pigs, turning them into zombie pigmen. Quite fun to mess around with. You've also got the ability to spawn uh, mobs. So if you wanted to spawn a mob, you can spawn literally a, let's start with an iron golem, they don't make much noise. The only downside to this guys, it's not been updated like the wither stuff. I've not had the ability to spawn the wither or the elder guardian. So you can see here when you tap, it literally shows you that we've got ourselves some iron golems. All right, so getting into the interesting things, I'll let you guys mess around with the rest of that. I did tell you that they have come with some pretty cool commands. So in Minecraft Pocket Edition at this current point, normally you press one forward slash. With these commands, you have to type a double forward slash, so it's gonna be forward slash, forward slash. These are the commands we have. We've got ascend at the top. Don't know what the second one is. We've got chunk, clear clipboard, contract, copy, count, cycle, and so many other ones. What I wanna show you in this video is in fact how the uh, world edit works. So for world edit, for an example, all right, what you have to do for world edit is on my current point, type forward slash, forward slash, POS1 which is gonna pop up with coordinates saying my current location. And then going over to a new new location, we do forward slash forward slash POS2. And as you guys can see, it's now selected the location. So what we have to do now is forward slash forward slash replace space grass space. Let's do diamond underscore or now, if this is done correctly, it's now changed it all to diamond ore. So it's really easy to like set different locations to different blocks. It's just fun to mess around with. There's also another one that I noticed, forward slash, forward slash, overlay. These are the only ones I mess around with. I just did like chest um, and it worked. And as you guys can see, it literally overlays the block with whatever item you select. So go and have some fun with this. I fully support this in single player only. Uh, it's just great to mess around with and since we don't have coordinates just using this just for the mini map is actually a massive bonus The download is in the description if you did enjoy this video be sure to thumbs up. Have a great day, and I'll catch you next time Bye.